Right then. Right then. I stand ever ready. I stand ever ready. Our fates are not yet sealed. Let's give it our all. Victory will I be ours. I stand ever ready. Now or never.
Hello. Hello. How are you? All right. Good. 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 Just My ass hurt. Screaming some Final Fantasy progress. Oh yeah. So uh. Yeah. Yeah, I saw the message. Ryan just came and got dropped off in my car. I can't believe that dude has been waiting since eight o'clock last night to get a fucking. Yeah, that's how that's how overloaded the hospitals are right now. The moment he told me that, I called Ryan. I was, hey, I know you're bringing me like a like a charger for my phone, but uh, yeah, I'm not gonna stay here waiting in the in the waiting room this long just to be told something I already know. Take me my car. Let me go home. Fuck, man! I landed on my hip hard. Yeah. You see the U.S. just passed, uh, 800,000 deaths? Mm-hmm. And I was reading that when I was sitting there in the waiting room. I was like, dude, that... That is crazy. 800,000 deaths. That's insane. Then, uh... Something that the news article brought, something that the article brought up that I had thought about prior, but like forgot about it, and now it's back in my mind. Is when they talk about the labor shortage, they don't really connect the labor shortage and the pandemic together because there's now 800,000 people that are not a part of the workforce. Well, not all of them were old enough to be working to begin with. Right, not all of like not all of them are workers. But it's just the fact of you have 800,000 people that could have been working. You know what I mean? Yes. I, I get what you mean. It's kind of like when uh, when Spanish flu hit. There were, like, there's a bunch of reports about, like, after Spanish flu, I feel like the Spanish flu was finally said done. So many people had died that people just didn't talk about it. Like, no one wrote any articles on it. Like, nobody, they just didn't talk about it because everybody lost someone. And everyone just kind of agreed to move on. Also, I now know that hospitals have a yellow tag they put on you when you're a fall risk that says fall risk. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know that was a thing. What's a fall risk? A fall risk? Like you're, fall? you're gonna, like you're, you're going gonna... to fall. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I, I fainted twice at work, which is why I went to the hospital. Right. And uh, when that, when I was walking up back to the X, uh, X-ray, I stumbled, and the guy that was assigned to be like my walker dude, fucking clapped down on my body with like the, the power of Zeus catching me. Oh, but dude, I just stumbled. I'm okay. So how are you liking our game? I had chills after the first episode, or for the, the third episode. What happened in the third episode again? Oh. Uh, Liddy, have you seen it or do you care about it at all? Uh, I have not seen it. No. I wouldn't really say I care about it, but... I, I mean, it, it's when, uh, it's the most dramatic part of, of the three episodes of the first season, Brandon, where there's the the fire and all that shit. Yeah, I, I know, I know what you mean. Yeah. I thought it was, but I couldn't remember if the time skip was the fourth episode or the third episode. Yeah, it's the fourth. I didn't yeah. watch any more of it. I told you it was good, man. It was. It was. Like... 
Also, what was the big deal about the whole rat thing? Like, why did... Why was that an issue? Because, because the skinless cat died. Yeah, but I mean, like... The main reason why that happened is to show A, what Shimmer can do, and B, that Soko and Singed are bad people. Like, Wait, like and, what, what was the Dylan. first part that what can do? Shimmer. So that, that purple stuff that they've been using, yeah. right, that drug, it's called Shimmer. Okay, I, I wasn't quite sure the name of it. I hey, thought for you a second that's how, I, I thought that's how, uh, that, uh, the dude would turn into two Mundo or something. It's entirely pop, so Shimmer is like a huge... So when they talk about like the Camp Lords and Dawn, Shimmer is what they're referring to mostly. And like now that this show's come out, a lot of the people behind people that have gone and looked over kind of change a little bit, but not by much. Just a little bit though. Zon is the Undercity, or no? Correct. Zon is what they refer... You don't even hear the word Zon until, like, the end of Act 3. They mentioned Zon one time in the second episode, of the first one. I don't remember them saying Zon, but that's... I'll be honest, that's... I don't remember much about the first few episodes it's, it's against when, the first episode. It's when Silco and uh, Vander are talking, saying that we uh, yeah. were the sons of Fox Zon. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm surprised by how much I like Soko. I'm curious to see what's going to happen. And out of everybody in that show, I think they did the best portrayal of Sid. Like, he he doesn't get a lot of screen time, but damn, they do a good job with him. Oh, I, I didn't realize it was him until uh, Dylan said... Hey, there's Singed in there. I'm like, who? And then I found out because he's his name is Singed because he got singed. They never, uh, they never just straight out say his name. We just know it's him. Yeah, that's, that, I now know. And then soon you're gonna find out why we all hate Jace. Oh, I, yeah, I saw it first. I'm like, oh, he's not that bad. I don't see what the hate is. I, I saw Victor before he was, uh, Lloyd. Like, next to Jinx, Jinx, Victor is, like, one of the most tragic characters now. You're like, oh, man. Victor, you're my homie. Despite the fact you want to turn everyone into robots, you're my homie. I'm not that far yet. Also, I came back at, like, the perfect time, because as soon as I walked to my desk, apparently I've been logged in for 10 minutes, so... I, oh, so I you can uh, play the Final Fantasy. I started it at uh, eight o'clock. Hey. Uh, no, I started at eight thirty. And got it. Bro, I'm. You know what I just realized? I didn't take anything out to eat for dinner. Well, that's not gonna help you. Well, they gave me, like, they gave me two shots of insulin at, at the hospital, and I know I'm going to have to eat something soon. Oh, thank God, there's actually a disciple of hand, uh, custom delivery this week. Oh, thank God. Should be able to get or more closer to 90. Yeah, I missed my hair. I cut it way too short. Yeah, I want my hair to grow back. Yeah. I'm just gonna stick with my normal, like, five or six the next time I cut it. I don't know what number it is, but I know what the color is on the card. I know it's my green one. That's the one I normally try to stick with. Um, okay. No, baby.
Also, we got a, we finally got a date set for, uh, for Dylan. Is it going to be after the new year? Uh. Yeah. Next month on the 14th. I think, however, I don't think that's his movement day. I think that's going to be the day that Ryan is going down there. Ryan said it's going to take him like two days. So what he wants to do is drive down there, pick him up, spend the night, and then drive back up the next day. So realistically, he's probably going to be in on like the 15th. That and I already, I already told him the whole. You gotta give me a month to get ready for you. Uh, really, I can't see my hot bars. How can I do crafting when I can't see my hot bars? How can I craft when I have bars that are cold? I know you don't, but if I ever had an animal named Lily, whenever I got mad at it, I would yell at him. How's Tally doing over there, by the way? Lily. What? How is Tally doing? Oh, she's doing all right. Also, Ellie is his, uh, dog. Oh, okay. Also, Andrew pointed something out to me a few months or a little while ago that I didn't realize. Oh, uh, I did. Garrus died on its seventh day. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. I know, right? It makes me sad, but I mean, like, hey, it, it's fitting. Good old yeah, it's like, a, it doesn't make you feel any better, but... But I like it. I like that those facts coincide together. Man, I missed my N7 jacket. For that jack. I bet you I forgot it at Jessica's and she was it. Maybe? Because I know, like, she said she burned, like, all of my stuff. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. What the she was... fuck? She was. She's a little dramatic. Little theatric. Uh, yeah. Yeah. She didn't burn the typewriter, which is something I actually kind of want back, but, like, I, she said she couldn't find it, which is just to speak for you're not getting this back. Just say fuck it and go through like a drive through. I mean, if you do, just be careful. You know, like, I, I don't want to. Like, Ryan was asking if I wanted to get like McDonald's or something, and I told him no because, you know, fast food. You know. I've been doing really good at not getting fast food for a, for a while now. Except for, like, when I ordered that, uh, Little Caesars and the, um, uh, when I ordered a Little Caesars and that Chinese that I ordered. That was, like, the first time I'd ordered out in months.
And if not, I'm probably just gonna have, like, chips. I've had ramen, like, three days in a row. And I, man, I'm gonna be honest, I don't want ramen again. Like, it's good, especially with that garlic powder and the, like, the doctoring up I do to it. But, like, I, I've had it three days in a row. After three days, you, you want something else. This is true. That also can't be helped with have some so Oh no, yeah, the, the sodium in it is... it is... No but boy. you know, if the system really cared about my health, they would make eating healthy the cheaper option. However, the system does not care about my well-being, which is why a hamburger costs a dollar and a salad costs two fifty. Correction. Hamburger now costs two thirty nine and a salad now costs six dollars. Sorry, I forgot to adjust for inflation. Oh, my sister paid seventeen dollars for a tiny salad. Oh. Was it good? It was, was it at least worth it? Get home, and I think I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna order DoorDash just because of the fact of like everything in my house is frozen. Unless I make like those chicken nuggets, which I don't even think I have any chicken. Nuggets. I hate, 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 hate the fact that the exit that's right next to my house is closed. I don't have words for how upset I am that the Lover's Lane exit has been shut down. Because literally, he, like to get to my house, you get up on the Lover's Lane exit, you take a left over the bridge, take another left, bam, there, you're at my house. Ryan, I was driving back to my car about aloe vera moments we had with his sister when I was here. In actual, actual tears because I couldn't stop laughing so fucking hard because I didn't know what was happening. Yeah, I hate, we needed Ryan to translate for us. Danny's the normal translator for stupid and but Danny wasn't there. Stupid. I'm also upset that, I've said it before and I'll say it again, I'm upset that SWOTOR pushed back their expansion until February. You can tell your car is in serious repair when your motor is so loud that I can feel the vibration in my call while I'm working. I almost have all my uh, regional focal levels. See your books about the lusty Argonian main? It's like that very one. The uh, ancient folk tale. Ancient folk tale of the Argonian main that are lusty. Uh, I could use a good RPG to sink my feet. I could. <laughs> they say Chronicles of the 14, but you can't get in. Yeah. God damn it, Andrew. 
A, I can't get in half the time, and B, I, I, I don't know. I have a feeling that if I do continue to attempt Final Fantasy, it's going to be that thing that I'm going to go, it's going to turn into a work for me where I go back and do it every now and then to check on it and see how it's going. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I usually play for like a cash or two. Great for like almost a few that and like with Warframe I almost feel like I'm obligated to go in and check it out every now and then just just to see how how it's going and see if oh, they're going to give out okay. the, uh, the statues yet no they're never going to give those statues out god damn it Liddy we never got our statues what statue Remember when me and you became founders in Warframe and we were supposed to get an in-game statue with our name on it in our model? Uh, no. That was one of the- Alright, you fucking re- Oh, Brandon. Calm down. They told you that stress can make it worse. Calm down, you fucking re- Why are you in the middle of Akron, wearing all black, walking in the middle of the fucking street on a one-way? No one's gonna see your black ass walking in all black in the middle of the street in the middle of fucking Akron. You got ran. Mm, let it go. All right. Be back in a few minutes. Yeah. That was just fucking sick. What? Uh, final boss of the second dungeon. Me and oh. the monk just doed it from 50% till it was dead. Oh, yeah, Anima? Yeah. We kicked its ass. Hell yeah. Monk, just monk me and, and a monk. Is, monk and Reaper are, are at the top DPS right now by like a large margin. And I switched. I. I started on Dark Knight, I switched over to Warrior. Oh my god, the sustain. Oh, you they can't die. It's impossible. Definitely calming the monk. Yeah, right now, uh, real DPS Reapers are at the top. Just barely over monks. Uh, I used to be able to pull that shit off with Dark Knight. The fact that I can pull that off with a warrior now. Yeah, they. Well, the Dark Knights need Copium because the warriors have. Dark Knight, Dark Knight is going to need a mid expansion rework, just like Monk got mid expansion reworked in Shadowbringers. It, they need it. I I swear to God, the only reason we got the, the updates for Dark Knight like we did now. Is because they they know that it's bad, and they need to change something. They just didn't have the time for it. I swear to God, they're working on it. They're just not going to be able to get it out. They know it needs change. They're working on it. They just didn't have time for it, and they didn't want to delay Endwalker again. Yeah. So when that, I, I mean. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get Warrior to max. I'm gonna focus on Warrior, but as soon as I max, I'm gonna go back and level up Dark. It's going to be my backup, and as soon as they change it, I will gladly play it. But it is just it's just edgy Warrior with less sustain. Yeah, Blood Wedding is just too good right now. And the now fact that you have that with now, raw intuition. Now Um Um, Dark does have the highest DPS of all the tanks right now because they have their burst every like minute and a half and their, the amount of DPS they can pump out in that burst window is insane I know uh, Warriors have uh, theirs every, every minute yeah Warriors Warriors still good but apparently Dark is just better uh, yeah Dark is like all percentile 
30... Oh, I mean, that's a lot. Like, 4,200 warriors, 4,000 4, gunbreakers right there, Paladin's 38 right now. Or with the uh, all percentile. But if I can't go, if I can't go slashy slash cleavy cleave with a great sword, I might as well go slashy slash cleavy cleave with a great axe. And then Unga Runga at level 90. Alright. Time for the post-dungeon cutscene. Oh, hold on. I got shit. Got a ring of fending. Inventory. Ring of fending. Place an arm range. Character. Ring of fending. Oh! I didn't even notice. I got the Reaper weapon too. <laughs> Anyways, post cutscene. Yay, two comms! I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting. May the gods have mercy on your Wasn't expecting Anima to be the second dungeon boss. If it only escalates from here, from here, I'm concerned. Yeah, there's... Like, it, like everyone's sort of going, Oh my god, it's Animal, he's going to be one of the... He's going to be a trial boss, he's going to be towards the end. It's a dungeon boss, and it's the second dungeon. Oh yeah. my god. There was oh. a lot to unpack in level, at level 83. I'm about to do the first trial streaming. Oh god, that hurt. Look, look. This madness ends here. How you feeling? Fine. Oh hush. So you this is the best part. Enough! Oh god, you bitch. <sighs> <laughs> I know you were just hospitalized, but do you want to play League with me? Oh my god, Haley! <laughs> just came out of the hospital. Oh, I'm still wearing the bands that tells my name. defense Cryo but how the shackles that bind my adversary will not be so easily broken hide it feeble relic of a forgotten age Victory is Change of plans. We shall travel to the moon and break this wretched barrier ourselves. Whatever it takes. Who's that? The final order issued by Anima to the Tempered Thrones. Should the Empire fall? The world must share our fate. Of course. Father lacked the conviction to give such a command. 
The abomination born of his flesh was but a puppet, and I, the puppeteer. You madman! You monster! There's a funny joy in watching your flailing attempts to fight the inevitable. You're all going to die, and are powerless to prevent it. We really must be on our way. You're welcome to give chase, provided you are content to leave comrade and tempered alike to die screaming. Too much of this child. Tend to her. The last bran at Mare Lamentorum is yet unbroken. Zodiac remains bound. I have shifted the flow of ether and sent the enemy far from their destination. Now, I shall divert it once more. An ally awaits, and I will deliver you unto him. Mm -hmm. Seek his aid. Restore the seal. Zodiac must not be set free. An ally, you see. Tempered are running wild. Not only those at the tower, but those back at the camp. The others are doing their best to contain them, but the situation is growing beyond our control. Leave them to die or give up the chase. Just like Van Daniel said. In end it. Going alone. You have our trust and our faith. I pray we have yours. But need our help. We will save as many as we can, I swear. Once we have matters well in hand, we'll join you on the moon. Until then, be careful. There's no telling what you'll find.
So that just sort of fucking happened. Yeah, at least more specific on that. I, I mean, I know what happened already, but. Well, if Brandon ever comes back to it, I don't want to spoil anything for him. I have to doubt he's going to come back to it. Plus, he's already seen to do all of the files. Going to the moon. I hear it's well as well. Long, long before Dalamud was forged to imprison an elder primal, the oh, eldest of them all, savior of the star, was sealed within a moon I'm of his so own. I'm so happy you started watching Arcane, finally. Souls sacrificed to grant him life still slumber and so dream now I don't of the have day. To he and we will be made whole. <laughs> Here he waits in this cold, barren place. His cradle and his grave. Silent lamentations and prayers of hope echo soundlessly to a sundered star, adrift and alone. Oh. No, Lily, don't jump on the desk. Oh, ow. Alright. I've decided against ordering anything, and I just made some popcorn. Is that a food group? It is. And then I realized uh, something that, oh, that oh, Dylan's... I realized something Dylan's going to have to put up with. What's that? Lily, stop. My love of ketchup. Uh, I don't. I just want you guys to know that my team is three and zero right now, and it's all because of my amazing hooks. Bullshit. I've got three assists, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> I want whatever you say. Did they ever play the Get Jinxed song in Arcane, by the way? Yeah. When did they? Was that when she was wearing the goggles and she was, like, moving and grooving and Soka was yelling at her and, like, you didn't hear him? Wait, Brandon! <laughs> that's not a- that's not a that's spoiler! Not. <laughs> Haley, that's not a spoiler. That was so incredibly vague, that could be at any moment. Uh, it, at least it definitely happens not in the first three episodes. Yeah, I, because they're I, kids in the first three episodes, and he already knows there's a time skip between the third I, and the fourth episode. I mainly wanted to joke because I was just talking to Andrew before you got back about how uh, now that he started watching it, I don't have to go Brandon anymore. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, yeah, was that when they were playing it? Is I couldn't remember when they actually played the Get Jinx in the show. I think, I, I think so. Isn't that voice actress the same, like... The woman, that, like, the band that did that song, their lead singer is the woman that did the voice for Jinx, but I don't think she did the voice for Jinx in Arcane, though. I think uh, it's someone different. No, I don't, I do not believe so. <sighs> of course, like... You watch Arcane, and then you go and play League of Legends, and you play as Jinx, and you're like, wow, this is nothing at all is what I expected. I mean, the fact, again, that they retconned the lore. Because uh, they can't do anything without retconning the lore. Man, that lore has seen so many retcons. There's lore. I want that meme where you slap the League of Legends word and go, this baby can fit so many retcons! Think that, and seeing how like, l like, League of Legends is supposed to happen at like at the very ass end of everything. So at that point, I feel like Jinx has already like made peace with her demons. Is like, all right, I'm just gonna embrace my ins my insanity. Oh, that 
that's kind of cute. Uh, I'm watching now. I'm watching Ricky take his cat shopping. I did hear. Oh. You know, I feel like I feel like being a uh, being a crippled. The cat is probably the perfect pet for him. Is is that is that insensitive for me? So Ricky Berwick, right? He's a cripple. Yeah, right. Right. I said I think a cat is probably the perfect pet for him. Being a cripple. I mean, because like he couldn't. I think if I was a crippled, I wouldn't want to get a dog because a dog does require you to be more physically active with it. I mean, yeah. With a cat, like, honestly, if you get a cat, one of those cat toys that has, like, a stick with a string and a fuzzy bit, you can sit there and, like, give it all the physical activity it needs while you're just flicking your wrist. Like, there's more into it. There's more, there's more about it than, like, you know, cat raising than just that, but... It's way less physical than it is with a dog, I feel. Andrew, can you confirm or deny it for me? Hold on. And Lily is. I know that you're that. Dylan's picture is of a girl with a with like drinking out of a cup, but I always think it's a man that has like five o'clock shadow and he's touching it. I drew that for Dylan. <laughs> what? I drew that for Dylan. That's Annalise. It, I'm sorry, but it, it always makes me think it's a man with five o'clock shadow. <laughs> I guess the color that I gave the mug kind of can make you think that, I suppose. But I'll be honest, this is the first time I've actually, like, looked closely at it. Yeah, no, I did it for him. Now I have to pop this out and put it on the other screen. That way I can have general up in case he decides he wants to give commentary along with me. Oh my god, I fucking love the Scholar's uh, Peloton. It is so helpful for casters. I, Hello? I'm so happy. Hello. Yo. Hello. Guess what I'm eating right now, Dylan? What's up? The trap. Don't answer. I'm eating popcorn and ketchup. It's okay. You're gonna have to see it now. Oh, you should see the shit I'm getting into on a fucking other server. I'm afraid. Oh, you don't have any clue, man. It's I'm not even gonna drag you guys into it. I'm in a I'm in the server. I'm in the um Is your boulders deep? Like no, this is the primary server for Valheim, not Baldur's uh, Gate. Uh, Don't you read his bio? He's so, a general uh, something or another in the Baldur's in Valheim server. Yeah, I'm a, like I, I literally put that because all of the fucking moderators have in their bio it says I'm the official moderator for the Valheim server. None of them are paid, so I was like, "Well, you're fucking losers." So I'm gonna go ahead and put my bio that I'm a general in the lanes. I'm like. <laughs> They literally just fucking, they limited me like an hour and a half ago because I called out a moderator for being a fucking asshole. And then because I was limited, I could only talk in certain, in certain channels. So I mentioned, like, I was fucking brought it up because this is like, I want to say this is like the 10th time I fucking brought up some shit about a specific moderator talking some shit being a problem. And every single time I've used the multitude of bots they use to fucking talk to them. Because they have Carl Bot, which is their automatic um, 
moderation bot, so it like catches keywords and when somebody when somebody quote unquote moderates you tells you why you got moderated and shit like that. <clears throat> um and then they have mod mail, which is a ticket system. So I told him, I was like, I'm sick of using mod mail to fucking talk to the same exact fucking moderator that tells me I did something wrong just to fucking have this one hour back and forth about how I did something wrong somehow. And you have fucking 12 moderators on your fucking server. Like, have somebody else talk to me. Like, the whole reason of me using mod mail at that point is to have another opinion about whether or not I did something wrong. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So I, I was, I finally, I fucking got fed up. I said in the general chat, I said, but this whole fucking spiel um, about how I'm fucking sick and tired of the shit. They said, nope, you're getting muted. The one moderator said, you're getting muted. So now I'm muted. I can't talk to that fucking server. Anyway, I guess how my days go. You know, that reminds me of Guild Drama. What? Guild drama that I, that I, I'll be honest, I lightweight miss it. I think yeah, they let everyone much. into the fuck. It's mostly because of the fact of, you know, I miss it because I enjoy the chaos and to watch it. You see that, Brandon? No, I didn't. I'm sorry. No, did it, cause you bitch. Haley, <laughs> you should you should shut the fuck up. <laughs> you should let me enjoy my ketchup and popcorn. You fascist pig. What in the actual fuck am I looking at? Yes. Yes. What that, what are you that, what are you looking at? He's on the moon. You know what? You know what always makes me feel better? No matter how no matter how bad I feel, how much pain I'm in, what I'm eating, or if Haley's talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, bro. That's you like up. You like that? You like that one? <laughs> That's fucked up. I thought that was a good one. Fuck you, Dylan. Yeah, That's a good one. No, I mean that's good, but that's <laughs> fucked up. That really is fucked up, Brandon. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay, Haley, you'll get back at me at some point. Shit, shit, and precast, and precast, and precast. It's usually how this exchange goes. Brandon gets me, I get him, it's this one. I'll tell you what, Haley. You can get back at me the next time I talk to my dad, okay? Oh, wow. Okay. Fuck. You can't it's keep pulling up. that card. In yeah, fact, I mean, you, know, last so long. you know what sure. today is? Today marks six years. You that bitch. Christmas. You can you can only no, hold it's that pole for so long, no, Brandon. You can only you can only lower your dad into the ground so many times. So I'm you know. I'm going to continue to kick his corpse further into the grave <laughs> until it comes yeah, out of the dude. other side. You have to start counting the meters instead of inches. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, start counting how many French. I'm gonna start counting how many friendships I've ruined with him. Oh. Uh, what the hell are these things? Oh, fuck. You know what I didn't get to get your opinion on? Uh, what? Ellen? I never got yeah. your opinion on how you liked the Star Wars Visions. Uh, I haven't watched it yet. Oh, fuck. <laughs> the whole piece of the game? No, it's I'll eat as much as I can. Yeah, you just take a salmon roll. I mean, you take a jump of course. Yeah. Okay. It's on a plate. It was in micro. Yeah. Oh, okay. See, he's in Japan, right? Seeing yolks, yeah, like 
Yokes. I think we might be landing in some airport base nearby, but I don't know. Okay. He's on the west coast in uh, Yogashawa. I got gotcha. you. Right, well, I'm glad he landed at least, and now he's not moving areas or uh, time zones at least. You know. Yeah. 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 Halo, you died. Oh no, I died so Zach could you, get away. You died like you lived. Like a bitch. That was my first death! Like a bitch. <laughs> I did not. I, I gave my life. I feel like that's that's a pretty noble way to go. You should. You should. You didn't say my life for Skyrim in, in alt chat, though. So did you really give your life for Skyrim? Okay, no, you're alive now. You can't say it now because you're alive again. You, you have to say it just after you die. Anyways, as I was saying, surprisingly, Dylan, my brother really, really likes Star Wars Visions. He, he likes it. Okay, that's a bad. That's bad news. <laughs> when you it's watch, you know what's going to help you when you watch them. What? Remember, they're not canon. Remember, remember, they're not canon, and anything they do, like, none of it matters. Which makes it infinitely better. I don't know, Brandon. Most of the EU is fucking community written. I never finished that. The fuck? Up. <laughs> Can't help it. You know, you know what's still canon, or they brought back into canon. Revan's canon still. Uh, oh man! No, like he's he's one hundred percent confirmed. He is canon again. Yeah. His story. Yeah. Like, I don't know if Kotor and shit's canon anymore. I doubt it. Right. But Revan existing is canon. Right. So they haven't confirmed like anything he did or Right. Oh man. Remember, when you watch it, none of it's canon, none of it matters, so just have fun with it. I hate it surrendered. Okay. Hey, Haley. <laughs> there were definitely none some of that game didn't matter. That game didn't matter, none of it's canon. <laughs> Very true. None of it matters. None of this is canon. Not fucking canon. You can't pull a chip screaming that's not canon after fucking Andrew believes the picture of, of Dami Mommy with his hammer onto someone's body. Listen. I'm sorry, Andrew. But no doubt just touches himself. Those people. It's just how it is. It's just how it is. <laughs> no. Nope. Slipped his hands down. <laughs> really rude. Nordak has a uh, Nordak has discovered a new calling. Oh God. Oh no. Now, whenever he, whenever he finishes somebody off with that hammer of that hammer of his, he's gonna have to describe the burn mark of the lady oh, that's out printed on it. He's got it into PS and So, do you want to keep Cronin, by the way? I think it's so far gone now that like, now I'm ready to fucking play again. I just want to play the Barbarian. 
Uh, I mean, Cronin's probably been fucking chilling, hanging out with Ender. He's probably been hanging out with, uh, Bao. Bao? Who the... Okay, hold on. Who the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> no one doesn't know about Bao. What the fuck? Oh, I knew about my, da- my Dami Mommy. Bao is Norak's yeah. Dami Mommy. <laughs> She's not a dummy mommy. This is not canon. So anyway, the point being, I'm so far behind that, like, I might as well just start now. You know what I mean? Um, it'll be easier to talk to you about it when I'm there at your house, because then, for one, it won't be an um, That's two, true. Too, I'll be able to like, you know, sit down and have a conversation about it. But probably better to move on to my very idea. You don't have to start screaming. Uh, fuck, what, square up! <laughs> there you go. You don't, you don't have to scream square up at people. Okay, so it sounds like something I would say. You did. Last time you, last time you were drunk, you you were screaming square up at Haley. See her again because I'm coming up. See, I'm coming up to Ohio, so you'll see me more often. Which means well, I'll, never I'll see, see you again. No one. It's a, it's a trade off. Never see Haley again. I'll never even hear from Haley again. She'll just fall off the face of the earth. Trade off her. That's not true. Trade off her. You get me, you lose Haley. What? <laughs> Balance is all that you should be. Guys are still in here before I go to bed. Uh huh. Sure, you will. Um, have fun, Haley. Don't get angry and don't play dumb shit. It's not gonna get a uh, dumb ass. So I, I will. I will do my best not to be. Oh God, that's not good information. Oh, shit. Fucking play the worst. Oh shit. Have fun. I'm just watching Rebels. Uh, oh. I was supposed to set up my computer today, but you know how that went. I'm going to go get something to drink, and when I come back, I would actually like you to explain to me how. You saying you're coming to Ohio started a fight between your grandparents about your grandma's ex. Oh, I'll be back. Let, let me get a drink first. I'm thirsty first. Oh, shit. On you, ring. That was pretty good DPS. 5.5k. Got, I got some milk in an apple. Okay, Brandon, you ready? Oh, let me let me sit down without breaking my fucking hip again. 
Alright. Go ahead. The gist, the gist of the situation is I mentioned Ohio going back up to Ohio. Right? Uh huh. Grandma's from Ohio. She started talking about rooms in Akron. Uh huh. And my grandfather in law came out and he said, You took her in my ass again. Oh, I'm not talking about things. You know, roads and actors. Ah, shh, you're talking about badass again. That turned into an argument about talking about ex, ex husbands and wives and stuff. That's oh. the. That's the gist. So, as you can see, I want to get out of here. <laughs> It's not the only reason, but <clears throat> you know. So, from what I'm aware of, huh, huh, here's the plan, okay? Okay. Ryan's gonna take two or three days off. He's yep. gonna drive down there, pick you up, and then the next day, he's gonna take you and bring you up here because that's like a 10 plus hour drive. Yeah, it's, it's a little faster. So, you're so we're looking at either him picking you up on the 14th and you getting here on the 15th, or him picking you up on the 13th and you getting here on the 14th. So, 14th or 15th thinking, is is like the date that we're looking at. I was thinking he's probably gonna pick me up on the. Did you tell him? Complete state. Still the savior who delivered a world from certain doom. So, here we stand. You know my intent. Consume the god, then the world. Stoke your fury to a raging inferno and dance among the ashes. Or perhaps you would face me here now. A lesser but welcome response. Yes. A taste to whet the appetite. to spoil the moment, but might I ask that you postpone the slaughter until I've said my piece? I promise I will be brief. Do you remember when I told you that I wanted to die and take everyone with me? I meant it.
lofty aspirations. In what sweet irony that the world's saviors will become the agents of its destruction. <laughs> Believe and walk in faith. Let the light of your soul shine for all to see. Not quite the outcome you'd imagined, but a fitting one nonetheless. Don't you think so, Hades?
Establishing connection. All creation shall bend to my will.
its cataclysm faithfully recreated. From broken skies fall tears of flame. Work my mind. 
Just the peace!
strength fades and blood cools old familiar sensations so many lives so many deaths no different this I close my eyes and slip into the dreamless slumber A tired song and dance, routine, always I wake, but not this time, <laughs> nothing left unsaid, nothing left undone, 
Inherit my hell. I intone with glee. The man I was would weep for what I have become. The all-consuming contempt. But I've the wisdom of ten millennia to justify my answer to the question. No value in their existence. Not a wit. For all that I looked. None that I did see. A final chance, then, for Heidelin and her faithful. In cataclysm, prove me wrong. I sneer. All shall return to nothingness. As was your will, Emperor Sunday. I, the star, and every living being, Consigned to your oblivion. No. I'll find no fulfillment in a contest with you this day. Slavering beasts gather at your gates, ravenous and eager. Already you turn to them and away from me. 
I must go forth once more in search of power far beyond the might of Shinryu. Power to make your heart run over with rage. For the eldest of primals was a betrayal of promise. A pathetic creature incapable of inspiring true despair. I... That's what I crave. Pure, unadulterated despair. We shall see you.